Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey, if anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. So I have a new lighting set up. Um, it's actually very late at night, but hopefully this will make life much easier for me filming because it was becoming really stressful trying to do them when Amanda is sleeping. I hope you guys find this um, better and you can see what I'm doing a bit better. And also I think it's really good because it shows everyone that I do not have perfect skin. People think I do, but the camera does lie and I know that it wasn't picking up like uh, all these yeah there we go <laughs> all these little blemishes and stuff so I think this is a bit more realistic it makes me look more like how I really look anyway enough talking today's makeup I'm going to be showcasing a new Christmas palette I bought for you guys and doing like a Christmas um, Christmassy makeup uh, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, you should. I'll leave my handle for you here. I also do um, live get ready with me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT and I keep them up in my stories for the 24 hours. So if you miss out or you're in a different part of the world and you can't join us live, you can always catch the replay. Um, I know someone's waiting. My slogan is believable brown beauty. I like makeup that's just really pretty and not over the top. So that's what I'm going to do today. So let's get into the makeup. Oh, do I have my brow set? Yes, I do. Right, um, I'm gonna start off with my brows first. I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade number five. Oh, and I've already brushed them up. So they're already in the right position. I just gave them a bit of a trim because they're a little bit unruly. My mum was watching my last video and she was like, you need to tidy your brows. They're a little bit messy. And I was like, oh, what does she know? And then I looked and I was like, oh, actually she's right. So. Thanks, Mum. I have sorted them out. And Sol, I know you're watching and you're going to be looking at this. My ear is fine. It's just that Amanda gives me sometimes really over-enthusiastic hugs and he hits the side of my head, so I've got a bit of a flare-up in my piercing at the moment. That and it takes my piercings ages to heal, but I'm okay, so don't worry. Right, now I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to do my eye makeup first today because... I am going to be using glitter and things like that. So in order to stop any, or not to stop, but to limit the amount of work I have to do, I'm not gonna do my base until I finish my eye makeup, which is a little bit backwards for me. I don't really usually work like that, but it helps. Oh, I forgot to say, this is my NARS Radiant Cream and Concealer in Amand, and I'm taking a dome shadow brush from Real Techniques, and I'm just gonna buff this in. Now I don't always do, um, I don't always carve out my brow, but some looks I think need it, especially because, well, I'm a bit anal and I can see that I have a uh, discoloration from like the plucked part of my brow and my actual lid or eye, lid? That's not my eyelid, but you know, this bit of skin here. Brow bone, that's what it's called. <laughs> so um, I like to put a tiny bit of concealer there when I'm doing a more full on look. So I'm going to take the same one that I've used, this, I'm using an old 242, I think this was called, yeah, a 242 from MAC, it's just a flat brush. Okay, I'm going to be using the Smoky Crystal palette from Bobbi Brown, this is a limited edition uh, Christmas palette, and the colours inside are beautiful. Um, the ones that you can see when it gets in focus, yeah, that are super glittery, are really really soft in texture so you need to be careful otherwise they end up damaged like this bad boy down here but I'm going to be using only this palette to create a look today well yeah I'm going to try and use only this palette so first and foremost I'm going to start off with my crease I'm taking a 217 brush from MAC and I'm using this the brown color in the palette which is called hot chestnut and oh, I also love that it comes with a mirror inside, so that's really useful. You don't have to travel with something else. And I'm just gonna run this through my crease. Now, I have to stand corrected because I thought that this palette didn't have a color that was dark enough for my crease, and I was wrong. So, sorry Bobby Brown, and anyone that watched on the day that thought, oh, I'm not gonna get that anymore. This palette actually is, is perfect if you are my complexion or lighter, you can definitely do a full on look with this. So yeah, I was wrong. Then I'm taking my 228 crease brush from Zoeva and I'm literally just blending that edge away. Now I'm gonna have to re-blend my brow highlight at the end 
because when you do this sometimes the blending goes too high and it kills your highlight and we don't want that so I'm taking the 217 brush I said this bit already but I messed it up and now I've already got the shadow on my eye but what I was trying to explain is that I just want to start the corner contour of my eye so that I know how far to take my shimmery eyeshadow along my actual lid then I'm taking a 239 from MAC which is just a flat shadow brush and I'm going to connect this underneath so for me I'm just doing this as a guide so I know like what shape to take my blending in on the top I know I haven't got any concealer on the bottom yet did I say con concealer? concealer hmm. concealer on the bottom but I'm thinking I might be doing like a smoky winged eye and I find that if I don't do the bottom part of my eye first I always get my liner wrong so I'm just doing this for safety so I have decided that I'm going to do a little video on here so basically a couple of days ago when I was out shopping I went to Charlotte Tilbury and I was like a little bit ranty on my Instagram because I just don't really really love the brand and um, people have asked me to do a video explaining that so I will be doing that for next week's tutorial or next week's video just I'll do a, like a get ready with me actually you know what I'll do I'll use the same palette and do a get ready with me and just so you've got two looks from the same thing and just explain to you what my issue is with Charlotte Tilbury the brand not the person because I don't know her but I want to explain myself a bit more I have so many DMs and I might screenshot them and put them into the video if I can be that technical and let you guys see what other people think as well because it's not just me, which was very interesting. But anyway, that is this part of that um, of the eye makeup done. Now, I am using, oh, is this the right stick? No. <laughs> I'm using this Kiko Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick in the colour number five. I love these um, shadow sticks. If you are on the hunt or you're in doubt of which ones to try, I can highly recommend these. I love the colour of this one, I love how creamy they are, they blend really easy, they're really long wearing and they are very very good value for money. I think I'm going to end up with all the colours because I like using shadow sticks to manipulate eyeshadows and I really love this formula. So I'm just taking another little 239 and just blending the edge. So now I'm going to go back into this palette and I'm using the colour pink bubbly which is this nude shade here yeah this one and I'm going to pop that over the top of this shadow stick then I'm going to go back to the 217 that I used before with the darker shadow and just blend these together here now I'm taking a smaller brush this is a Louise Young LY13 and I'm going to go back into that hot chestnut colour. And I'm going to do something a little bit cut greasy, but not really. But I just want to intensify this brown here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I'm taking, this is a really old Stila brush. I'm really sorry, but the number I think has completely rubbed off. If, it, if they do a number brush called a 30, I think it may have been a 30, but it's dual ended. It's got two sides to it. I'm just going to use the tiny blending, blending, <laughs> blending end. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't use a colour like this in my crease because I, I tend to stay away from sparkly colours in the crease. But I think because it's so dark, it kind of works and I think it's fun just to do something a little bit different. So I've done that and then I'm gonna go back to, hmm, maybe I need a different brush, yes. I am using an LY14 from Louise Young. Yeah, and I'm just gonna blend that into the brown. And I'm keeping my brush kind of like facing upwards so that it doesn't disturb the shadow that's already down on my lid. It's a lot of blending. And then I'm gonna go back to the 217 and just go over the edge. Uh, where is it? There it is. I'm going to take a squid, what is this called? Modern Twist Kajal Liner from MAC. 
you can use graph black you can use any black cold pencil that you like but I am just taking this literally on my lash line on the lower part of my eye and I'm taking it inside as well because I think that's definitely a thing for me it's like I don't feel done unless I've got black cold pencil on just running that inside my eye sorry if I sound a little bit like oh I am so tired but I, I don't have any other time to shoot this video but today so I press on this is a Hakahodo brush and it is the number is also rubbed off of this but it's just a tiny little oh no especially when I've got no foundation on come on come on camera Oh, I've got to do the YouTube hand, I'm just not feeling it, hold on, let's just do this and hide my face, yeah, that's it, it's a little pointed detailer brush, um, you can use any one that you have that's similar to this, and I'm going to keep, oh, that eyelash has just gone straight in my eye, I'm just going to keep this really quite tight, because I don't want it to be overly blown out, I want like the sparkly shimmery part of the makeup to be the main focus so I'm just using this for a little bit of definition not to take away from everything else then I'm taking the same pencil on the top and keeping this really tight to the lash line as well and I'm going to take the same lower brush and blend that along too it's so funny when I was um, setting up my lighting I was like playing with it for ages and I was just like oh my face looks really yellow like my skin just looks really yellow and then I forget that I basically turn into Bart Simpson in winter the skin goes super super yellow so there's nothing I can do about that until I go on holiday or something but yeah just call me Bart I really want to create quite a feline shape to my eye so I'm keeping my liner really flat because I have really almond shaped eyes and sometimes if I make my liner too thick in the middle it makes them look like super yeah it just accentuates that shot <laughs> that shot it accentuates that shape so I'm really taking my time with my liner today because like my hand does that shape naturally this is trickier for me to do because it's not what I do all the time okay and then to make sure that this isn't too dark like the liner that I've done, oh, I did this eye off camera because you've seen me do it on this side, it's exactly the same. I'm just going to take that brown shadow, yeah, and just go over the black liner just to soften it. And then I'm going to do the thing that we all know that I hate but love how it looks, I'm going to tight line. And I found that if I hold the mirror down here, it's actually more comfortable than trying to do it like this. So a little trick that I like to do is um, take, I'm gonna take some dark mineralized skin finish and just go over the edge of my brow here and here. And I kind of use it as uh, a rubber and for American people or other people in the world that think I'm talking about a condom, I'm not, I'm talking about an eraser. Just to kind of clean up and make everything look really smooth and blended in this area. Yeah, it helps a lot. I love to do that. Right, so now I also want to soften my brows. I didn't use a brow set before, but I'm going to take um, the Pro Long Wear Waterproof Brow Set in Red Chestnut from MAC and just use that to knock my brows back. Because I find that when I do like an intense eye if I have softer brows it just is a bit more appealing than having full strength brows and quite a lot of eye drama going on this always makes me think of Tyra Banks because whenever I used to watch um, America's Next Top Model back in the day I always used to look at her with like her really bleached up brows and be like man how does she do that and it's actually quite simple. I used to bleach my brows so that I could have them lighter. Man, my brows have been through a lot. I've done so much of them. Thank God they grew back. But yeah, 
I think I'm quite happy with this. I might tweak it later, but we'll see how it goes. So now I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. So I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which is almost finished. I don't think I've ever loved a concealer as much as I love this one. I use this one all the time. Then I'm gonna go back to my dome shadow brush and just blend that all in. Now, when I do a smoky eye, I don't like to take my concealer all the way up. I like to use some of my natural darkness to add to the makeup. I think it looks um, <laughs> more believable. It doesn't look so done. So I'm just gonna use this to tidy up here. I'm just gonna add a bit more concealer to here. This is actually the sunken place. And just blend that out and see if I can lift this dip a bit more. I was so paranoid about um, my under eyes. I used to talk to, or like message Nick from Pixie Woo. He'd be like, babe, I wanna, I wanna get fillers under my eyes too. But, I don't know, something in me is just like, no, that's not for you, Stace, don't go down that road. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Now for foundation. It's a bit of a Bobbi Brown fest today. It's not intentional. I just, I really do like their makeup. I am taking my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in uh, 7.25 Cool Almond, and I'm using a Real Techniques Expert, <laughs> Expert Face Brush. And then blending that up into my concealer. And then my nose is a little bit red at the moment, but I'm just gonna use this there. I don't really put foundation on my, con on my concealer. I don't really put foundation on my nose on my forehead yeah the brain fog i'm so tired right i'm gonna try this a different way today i am taking my chestnut foundation um stick from bobby brown and i'm just going to take it on my brush instead of drawing it straight onto my face because i'm just using it to adjust the foundation not for coverage it's right i'm going to go into my mascara now and i am using my caution mascara from hourglass first as my first one and then I'm going to move into my usual favourite in Extreme Dimension. So now that that mascara is on I'm going to just set the rest of my face I'm, I'm kind of happy with how, I mean I'm not 100% happy but I'm happy enough to set. So I'm going to go back to this, I used to do this all the time, my mineralized skin finish in dark and set my under eyes with that. Because I feel like I look super super tired today. And this just adds like a little bit of a blurred effect. And I need it under my eyes. I need it today. It's so funny. It's like 11 o'clock at night. And I'm literally just going to finish this, wash my face, have a bath and go to bed. Um, I'm taking my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in Deep. Powder that I love. And this is a setting brush from Real Techniques that I'm using. I'm just mattifying... Here, and this is where I get oily. Not that it matters, because I'm gonna wash this off in the next 20 minutes, but we know. Let's just pretend that I was going somewhere. So I like to set there quite strong, actually. And then everywhere on my face just gets a light dusting, because I don't really have issues with shininess everywhere else. Okay, so I'm really stuck, like always. I'm like, do I do a full-on lip or do I do a nude lip? What do I do? I think I'm gonna do a full-on lip. Let's just do a full-on lip. I am taking Nightingale Lip Pencil from MAC and I'm just gonna color the whole thing in. Then I am taking, this looks weird. <laughs> then I'm taking my uh, Bobbi Brown Vibrant and Vi vibrant violet lipstick over the top mm, then I need to do my other lip pencil okay now that's a little bit too ombre for me so I'm going to go back over it with the lipstick and just soften the lip pencil Okay, mm, I like that. Now, I forgot to put my highlighter on, didn't I? I'm taking my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Palette in number two, and this is a Louise Young LY52 brush, and I'm just gonna pop over, pop my cream highlight over my skin. 
Now, I didn't put any powder in that area, so I'm kind of lucky in that sense because I can get away with it. And then I always like to use my foundation brush and just blur the edge of that. It's not ideal to do it this way around, but it's just the way it worked out. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Oh no, it's just a vein in my eyelid. <laughs> I thought I hadn't blended my eyeshadow properly, but it's because I've got a vein popping in my eyelid that um, it's just creating a bit of distortion there. So funny. Right, I'm going to put a tiny bit of highlight here. And then powder my forehead because my forehead looks way shiny. Yeah, I think I forgot to do my forehead. And excuse the random mess of this video. I'll be back on form next week. Now that I've sorted this lighting issue out, this will be much easier. Hmm, yes. Okay, so then, two more things. I'm going to go over my mascara um, with another mascara. I'm using my MAC In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash over the top for some more volume. So, the final step of the makeup is my blush. And because I've got quite a strong eye and a strong lip going on, I don't want to go and do anything too over the top on my cheeks. So, for that reason, I'm going to use Swiss Chocolate. And this is a contour brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to use it for my blush. And just work that on my cheekbone. And then, to keep like the sheeny thing going on, I'm going to use a little bit of Sweet as Cocoa Blusher. Okay, that is the end of this video. Sorry, I know I, I, I feel like a zombie doing the video, so I know I must come across as a zombie. But this is the final makeup look for today. Um, I really like this. I wish I was going out and not going to bed, but I wanted to show you that you could wear a strong lip and a strong eye and still look kind of natural because it's not really natural to have sparkly lids or bright pink lips, but you know what I mean, like it's not over the top. Um, I will leave, as usual, all the product names. <laughs> I will leave a list of the products I've used in my description box in case I've missed anything or forgotten to show anything. Um, yeah, that is it for this video. I'm definitely gonna end it here, end it here because my, um, like my messed up speech gets worse when I'm tired and my brain is just not really firing on any cylinders at the moment. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.